Hi, in this video, I want to talk about a little bit um, about sh um, growing shapes or growing patterns. So, um, here is an example. These are the first three shapes in the pattern. So, how do you see the shapes growing? Okay, so the first um, perspective is we call it rain drop. Okay, it's uh, the squares fall from the sky like rain drops. This is the second perspective. Um, it's like a um, bowling alley. Uh, squares are added to the bottom like pins in a bowling alley. Mm, this perspective, uh, I call it um, oblique slicing or stacking. Mm, or oblique stacking, oblique slicing. So the layers can be vert and diagonally. This is the first, uh, fifth perspective. Mm. We, uh, I split it at this uh, position, and uh, we put one more layer higher stack, and to keep the uh, to keep um, the original or, or to keep the symmetry. And uh, we add another same height stack. So for the third one, we do the same. Fixed perspective, I call it, um, or we call it parting of the Red Sea. It's actually a geological concept. Mm. It's like a rifting in the middle, and uh, new uh, volcanic rocks form um, like new land or fill the space um, in the middle. So you can see it's like um, rifting, and uh, new land formed. So this is a uh, this is. Th Seventh one. Seventh one is my favorite perspective. It's like a volcano, and uh, the middle column of squares grows high, and uh, the rest uh, follow like uh, lava in interrupting from a volcano. This is this one is my favorite one. The eighth one I call it a never give up. It's like a, you go one more step up every time, and you also need to keep the whole shape symmetric so that you can come down to um, to take a break. So you put these extra extra squares um, under the new top one. Never give up. I call it. So the ninth perspective, I um, we call it similar triangles. Um, the layers can be seen as triangles. This is a different, um, a sim similar, um, different but a similar um, perspective. Um, it's a, another way of that um, similar triangles. Um, eleven one. This one is um, similar with the never give up one. I call it um, stairway. Mm, but um, access um, denied. When you reach the new top, so you have to come down. So that's called a access denied. Twelfth one. Um, probably is the most um, fantastic uh, perspective. 
um, just, we call just uh, we just call it a square. Okay, a square can be rearranged to form a large square each time. So at the bottom row, you can see they can be arranged into these large squares. So how did we do that? We, for example, for the first shape, um, um, we do the step one. We move the, we or rearrange the dashed square to its new position, so that we can uh, make a new uh, large square. Um, there is a, a gap between these two stacks, and we. Uh, kind of compact them so make a perfect square, large square. We did do the same um, process um, to the second shape, and we also do uh, the same process to the third shape. So here is a question: um, If we call the first shape with four squares, the first case. The second shape with nine squares, as shown here, the second case, and uh, so on. How many squares will there be in the ninety-ninth case? So that sounds like a mathematical question because we we shouldn't do um. um we shouldn't just draw the squares one. Um, case by case, that that would be like a really tiring and uh, unrealistic, right? So it must be some um, mathematical way to solve it. So we mentioned about um, the case number, so we list the case number here on the top. So the this we have three cases. So this is case one. This is case two. This is case three, and we also count the number of squares um, at the bottom. Um, for the first case, we have four squares. For the second case, we have nine squares, and for third case, we have sixteen squares. So, uh, we as we mentioned about the square perspective, we arrange, we we rearrange the. Uh, squares into a larger square, so we move the dashed square to um, to form a large square, like we did uh, at the last um, um, example of a perspective. So we also keep the case number list here and number of squares listed here. And we're gonna compact them so that we can get uh, perfect squares, perfect larger squares. So now we have two um, sets of um, data. We have number, we have case numbers, and we also have numbers of squares for each case. So next, I'm gonna label. Um, we have we have found the. Um, number of squares like four, nine, sixteen. Just sounds like um. So for 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 these squares, sounds like area of um. Of, of these square large squares. So I'm gonna label the size, length for each um. For each large square. So we got um. Uh, number of squares is actually equal to the um, area of the of these um, squares, large squares. So we got it. Um, four equals two squared. Nine equals three squared, and sixteen equals four squared. And. Uh, we're gonna make a connection between case number and uh, and uh, the the length for each uh, squares. Sounds like uh, one, two, three, and uh, the uh, the length uh, for the size, the square size, uh, are 
two, three, four. It's kind of like just um, uh, one off offset or the difference between the case number and the, the side length is just one. Okay, so here I'm gonna um, use X um, to um, represent uh, represent the case number, and I'm gonna use Y to represent the number of squares. So uh, next I'm gonna get make um, change the make the connection between case number and the side side length for each large square and uh, like we said it's um it's just one difference or the difference just just one or offset is just one so we're gonna um use one plus uh, some number to or we're gonna use um case number to um to represent the side length and uh, see we're gonna use um, 2 squared equals 1 plus 1 squared the first one is a case number and uh, because the offset is just 1 we just plus 1 and uh, the offset is always 1 it's kind of like constant and we actually just use the case number plus 1 so we got the uh, large squares uh, side length okay so for the third for the third one we did the same mm. so we got a three plus one we got a side length so it's this this is kind of like pattern here like a mathematical pattern here and now um, we know the constant is one and we kind of uh, got some a list of like uh, equations so we kind of got a number of squares equals um, equals um, case number plus one and uh, parenthesis squared so for each case uh, for these three case this um, um, this e expression like uh, applies, and uh, if what if what if we replace this um, um, number numbers of squares four nine sixteen with uh, just a y, and uh, we're gonna replace the one two three case numbers with x, so we got a. a equation here y equals x plus 1 parenthesis um, squared so now if x equals 99 that means um, uh, that's uh, for the 99th case uh, so we can count use this uh, equation to get the number of squares for the 99th case so it's gonna be 99 plus 1 squared so that 100 squared that's uh, 10,000 so that's a um, little bit about the growing pattern so this is uh, one of the growing pattern or growing shapes one example of these um, growing patterns so if you're interested um, give me a thumbs up or like or subscribe to my youtube channel thank you